Yay, I'm doing poetry, spoken word, things like this. I know it's a bit different to, to the kind of musicians you usually hear here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I'd come along to support my friend Enya, who performed some music just before. Um, so I'm going to perform some poems which I wrote a while back, around six years ago. I was in Sri Lanka which is where I come from, and uh, I was there for three months, and I happened to write lots and lots and lots of poetry, hundreds. And this is one of the books. I don't think I've read much from this book, but I picked a few before I came here. Um, okay, let's see how this goes. Um, we'll do this one first. This one's called Chemical Pollution. Ubiquity compass points north. Circus glows in the dark. Direction halted, spurious map. Nomad climbs, wrong pole. Degrees in radians measured. Pi times diameter gives circumference. Molten sphere of planets coated in gas. Ozone layer traps heat from mass. CFCs pollute like hydrocarbons. My eyesight bleeds urine yellow. Phosphorus match lit by kerosene. Compound combust titrate liquid. Dead leaf drops with gravity. Oaks bark, take stormy gales. Nitrogen abundant in atmosphere. Carbon molecules that oxidize inert. Hydrogen peroxide corrosive as pain. Caustic apple numb in Eden. Two parts oxygen clash with sulfur. Needle points towards my arm. Scientific death of Earth's biosphere. <laughs> See, I don't have any sort of relevance to science. I don't study science, uh, nothing to do with science. Uh, but that was apparently from chemistry, GCSE and A-level chemistry, a whole bunch of things that I've put together. Um, so let's have a look and we'll just keep going. I'll be reading for a little bit of time. So this one's called Two Propositions. I've written, written this in two stanzas, and it's slightly contradictory to, to one another. Um, okay, Two Propositions. Surfing axioms like Bertrand's logic, an error and hypothesis diagnosis takes. Woman's careful hands spread out fish. Roof built on cottage collapses a bridge. Tiny vessels leave indelible mark. Hurricane realized in thunder of dark. Hazy scene captured the panorama. Melon orange sweet as lemon sour. <laughs> Alright. Um, some of these poems I'm literally reading for the first time from this book. This poem is called The Day to Day. Um, it's kind of about politics, and it's, I guess, loosely based on um, the day-to-day -day TV show. <laughs> it's a political uh, satirical TV show from the 90s with Chris Morris. So the day-to-day. -day. A widow's sexless, sexless sorrow, a man's hopeless dejection, the daily telegraph tomorrow, follow blind father's lies. Deaf and dumb in one ear, cannabis kills brain cells. Sky News special report, give us money to feed you fear. Buy one and get one free, it's not like it's your life. Subscribe to the Times for a fee, suck on a lollipop pop of grief. Divorced feminist eats pie, African child soldier shoots. Visit BBC News every day, non-stop rain destroys homes. School children are tripping. Nurses underfunded by oligarchs. Civil servants run the treasury. There is no future for you today. Hey. 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 This stuff that I've written back in the day, I really don't write like this, but it's interesting to see how I wrote as a perspective thing and 
it's interesting actually as a way of kind of uh, reflecting back into my consciousness and how I was a few years back. Six years ago, a long time. It's funny how we can change. Um, we used to wait. Stomach the weight with stamina. Agile distraction as a lemur. Daydream about the response due. Lost, par, lost post of fickle doubt reigns. Hailstorm turns monsoon with rain. Start to feel regret, blue in rue. Discount time as a medium. Candle glows in a burn of lithium. Invisible through transparent glass. Purview opens up between the bars. Badlands Roman sits to ponder the seconds and moments in wonder. Distance lacks physical affection. Mental obsession controls tension. Still no contact for two months. Past suspicion owes destruction. Lunar sky faces smile of clown. Mistake of comedy bites down. The dreams intuit complete real love. Patience will temperance of mind. Memories flood as rose butterflies. Time heals wounds as a couple of lies. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's do this one. This is the first one in the book. Um, very short. I think I was on a train journey going from Colombo, which is the capital, to Kandy, which is in the middle of Sri Lanka. A very beautiful train journey for past a lot of nature, kind of forest and uh, and stuff. There's also lots of uh, tea ladies picking tea leaves very quickly, which I remember very vividly. Purple infusion, deep flower of spleen. Love links misty in embalmed orange rays. Chromatic iridescence prevaricates light. Mangrove swamp, a dense damp forest. Sickle cell amoeba reproduces with inertia. Moving train used tall green dandelion trees. Foxes trot inimical and stylish distraction. Birchwood burns in sickly red conflagration. Fantastic. All right, let's do this one. This is a slightly different one. Uh, I guess it ties in the kind of spirituality of, of my country in some sense. The self is an illusion and I am an ideal. Philosophy distills commotion. Dust spreads vapid on window sill. Confusion of what reality is. Bridge the gap to normalcy. Stand outside looking in. Through the looking glass, imagine wonderland in trip. I'm a dreamer living a dream. Fantastic, absolutely. Um, now, what am I going to do next? I haven't really gone beyond this as to what else I can read. I've got lots of these poems. Some of them a little bit explicit in terms of what I'm actually want to say. Some of them less so. Oh yeah, okay, let's do this one. The Tourist. A dove flies freely through azure ether. Tell a miserable lie as dad caters fear. Stung by bees that circle in red treason. Run away in paranoia as antelopes charged by zebras. Coconut smashed for contents white as swan. Rocky boat's crevice swaps a cave for a stump. The bar that turns to a spit of rage in between. Faded pink sky sets distant nightmares in screens. The lunatic rolls along the grass, creating time. Pluck pheasant's feathers to shed dusty smooth shame. Inviolable scars bends clown's fate in a twain. Glasses adjusted in recovery from winter's tale. Lopsided joke goes quiet as the palm dries slowly. Lightning strikes thrice for me in Satan's inferno. Wow, oh, this is some quite harrowing poems when I'm thinking of it. Um, okay, let's let's maybe end with this one. Um, 
think I remember liking this one. The Insurrection of Creative Excellence. I think I typed this up at some point. Pink flowers circle purple tulips round. Sinews of petals radiant on mound. Vishnu lights a flame, but camphor burning. Blue statue appeals to brown and green bodies. Eternal creation of metaphors is the key. Distill surface clarity to filter core. Death and rebirth provide the theme music. Learn about the ha in fear of peace frog. Open the door to perception as a lunatic. Ground metaphysics upon Shiva's destruction. Find love in unity's interaction. Create infinity with the palm of my hand. Thank you. It was really lovely. That was Libra there. Give it up for Libra. Yeah, yeah. Yay, shine on. So we've got a new, uh, new entry to the open mic. Uh, please, uh, if you're ready, you ready to do some, Connie? <laughs> yeah, so please uh, welcome to stage, Connie. Yay. Yay.